This video is an update to my game winning portfolio and I'm going to show you guys my personal portfolio, show you how I've been faring in the market. Let's get into it. Welcome. Welcome to Peace of the Power with Ty. I'm Ty, and I appreciate you guys coming to check my channel out. If you like any of the content in this video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out with people finding this video. And share the content, too, if you find this video helpful. My channel is all about making sure people are aware of the different avenues to get a piece of the pie. In this video, we're going to go over my personal portfolio, and I'm going to show you how I've been faring in my progress in the stock market. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so this is my Robinhood account. I'm sitting pretty decent, but as you guys know, the stock market has been going down for the last week or two, but I'm still good. I'm still in the positive. I'm up 22.17%, which is still pretty good. Last time you guys saw my game winning portfolio, I was sitting at 17.59%. So I have increased, but it's been a little over a month and I'm still in the positive and I've increased from where I was at on last video. Last video, I was sitting right at $13,700. Now I'm at $15,062. So I'm still winning. I'm still winning on a monthly basis. So it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. The market has been slowly declining. We have been in a bear market for the last two weeks. That means where things are typically going down. A lot of selling is going on. And that leads to what we have been seeing in the stock market. So let's go ahead and go down my holding. I haven't sold any of my holdings since the last video again i'm a long-term investor so i hold my stock sphd is a dividend etf is a monthly paying dividend etf and i'm at 16.16 it has increased 6.65 percent since my last video and i have also added three shares to sphd and i would like to point out that sphd along with a few other dividend stocks i have they have increased since the last video. During this video, you guys are gonna hear me say a lot of our stocks have decreased since the last video, but I, I would definitely like to point out that most of my dividend stocks have increased. So during a bear market, the safer places to be is in dividend stocks. Just like to point that out. So let's keep going. TMFC, that's the Motley Fool Index that has all the big name companies like Tesla, Amazon. That has decreased since my last game winning portfolio. I'm still winning overall on it, but it has decreased 1.58% since my last video. I haven't added anything new to that. Cyber, Cyber is a tech ETF, has a lot of cloud storage companies in it. Cyber is definitely a great ETF. You guys should check it out. If you don't know what it is, look it up on ETF.com so you can check the holdings out. But it's a pretty strong ETF. But since the last video, it has decreased in value. It has went down over 19%. I did buy two more of Cyber because of the dip. So that too is a reason that it has decreased because I added more to the position. FHLC. That's the Fidelity is a healthcare ETF. It has decreased 7% since my last game winning portfolio, but I also added two to that ETF too. Nerd. Nerd is my gaming and esports ETF. It has decreased also since my last game winning portfolio, 10%. And I added one more to Nerd. AMD, I didn't add anything to AMD. It has decreased. A lot of the tech sectors decreased 
during these last two weeks. They had a heavy hit to tech sector. So AMD has decreased almost 10% since my last video, but that just means, but a lot of these tech companies have decreased, but they're great companies. So it means they're still on discount. So if you guys want to check these companies out, now is the perfect time to do so. Apple, Apple also decreased since my last video, around 8%. Microsoft has decreased also. It has just decreased 0.16, not even a whole percentage though. So Microsoft has been doing good. And all of these tech companies are pretty good companies. AYX, Artillery, they have decreased drastically. They are a cloud-based company. They are down almost 30% since the last video. Cloudera, they're another cloud-based company and they have decreased also about 4%. CRSR, Corsair Gaming. That's one of the companies that I definitely think it still has a bright future. Check them out. I did a video on them and they are still projected to grow over a thousand percent in the next five years. So Corsair Gaming, CRSR, go ahead and do your research on them, Google them, and you'll see exactly what I mean by they're still a good company to go ahead and buy. And Corsair is down 17% since my last video. Norfolk Grumming, Norfolk Grumming is a company that is heavily involved in aerospace, and they actually are up since my last video, around 4%. You guys are also going to see too that aerospace has been doing good over the last month. I don't think anybody really paid any attention. Me doing this video opened my eyes to the aerospace field has been winning. Hiko, Hiko, that's another aerospace company. They build jets just like Boeing. They are Boeing's competition. I went with them over Boeing back when I went with them because um, they were cheaper than Boeing. And if you ever doing comparison, Hiko had the lower price, but they do the same thing as Boeing. So to me, they are projected to go somewhere similar to where Boeing's price is. So that's why I went with them. And at the time, Boeing was running at like $300 a share. I couldn't afford them. So I went with Hiko and they have turned out to be a great company. But that's how I do some of my due diligence by going with the competitors. Might not be the biggest one, but sometimes the bigger one might not give you a better bang for your buck. But that's all about due diligence. So Hiko is up 5% since my last video. LUV, Southwest, you guys know the airline. They are up over 33% since my last video. So, so that was just about a month ago. Delta, Delta also has been doing good. They are up 32% since my last video. So that aerospace field is doing pretty decent. During this whole bear market, they're doing pretty decent. Might wanna check them out. Lowe's, they are a home improvement store. You guys know Lowe's. They're down since my last video, about 4%. Darren Restaurants, also the restaurant field has been doing good as well, but Darren Restaurants, since my last video just a month ago, they are up 23%. Cisco, they also deliver foods to restaurants and to marketplaces and things like that. They are up over 15%. Coke is also big in the restaurant field. They are up, but they are only up about one and a half percent and i did add more to coke i bought i bought one more coke and i also wanted to add i, I didn't say but i did add to my position in corsair gaming crsr i added one more position to that as well bam brookfield brookfield is a company that works just like a bank but they have land power plants they're kind of like an infrastructure but they are heavily in the financial field. They are up over 8% since my last video. EPRT, they're a real estate property company. They deal with commercial real estate and they are one of the REITs that I really bank on. As you guys see, I have 42 shares. Since my last video, I added two shares to that. They are also up a little over 9%, but again, all the REITs and high dividend paying stop they have been doing great during the last month they usually don't grow that much but you've been seeing the growth stock decrease i'm going down each one of my growth stocks and all along kind of going down in the dirt but my stock that give me dividends and usually slow growers they're winning way more than the growth ones right now at this phase but of course i think it's all going to change and everything's going to shoot up 
after a while. We just don't know how long this dip is going to continue. Nova. Nova is down 30% since the last video. Nova is still a great company. They're a green energy company. They supply solar power to houses, just like Dominion Power or any power company with regular electricity. They supply solar power to you. They set it up and all of that. They're a great company. They definitely have potential. I seen this stock go up to like $50 right now. It's not even close to that, but check this company out. I bought more of this company. I think this company is at a great discounted price right now. As you know, they are in that energy sector and all of the energy companies have been going down right now. So if you don't go with Nova, whatever your favorite energy company is, go with them, go check them out. Like people, I know a lot of people are heavy on plug. Right now they're super low. You should be buying more of them right now because they are all great companies. They just low right now because of these two past two weeks where the market's been dipped. They definitely have a high probability of bouncing back and giving you that perfect swing trade. CRISPR, 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 CRISPR. CRISPR is down 37%. But CRISPR is also a great company. Again, they work on editing the genetic code and working on curing certain things like cancers and certain diseases that you get from genetics. If you look in the ARC ETF, there's one of their top 10 holdings. So CRISPR is a great growth company with potential. This company was at $200 and right now it's in at $115. So that's a heck of a discount for anybody that's bullish on it. We're not going to talk about Prospect Capital because that was one of my free stock. I'm just holding it because it was one of my free stock. TPYG, that's another one with high potential. Still got high potential. You can Google it and look it up and watch my video. But they have a high potential. I have been increasing my position in them. I have added four since my last video. But they're down right now. They are down 25% since my last video. But I definitely think they still have potential to do great things. They're going to be the new gas stations for the EV vehicles. They already have Europe on lock. They have a lot of charging stations in Europe. And they're going to be expanding to the US. And they also partnered with ChargePoint. And this company will become EV box in the near future. But yeah, I'm still bullish on them. Check them out, do your research. Check out my video I did on them and why I believe in them. And right now is a great time to buy them. I at least want 10 of them. I, I'm shooting for 10 and why it has dipped down, I'm gonna make that happen. I want at least 10 of those so I can at least Feel like I got a nice steady position in them. ADT, that was one of my free stock. And AMC, AMC, it still, it still has potential. AMC, the movies might come back. And Wall Street Bets was talking about AMC. But mainly I like it because the movie theater, I think eventually the movie theater will be back in effect. Because people still want to go out. AMC is down 42% since my last video. So if you still think AMC is a good buy, it's a great time to get in them. And my cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies. Oh my God. Cryptocurrencies have been running it up. All right. If you guys remember, go back and look at my last game winning portfolio. And my last game winning portfolio, Bitcoin was up 191%. I haven't added anything to my Bitcoin. Bitcoin is up 325%. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, watch it. Ethereum, I have added to the position of Ethereum. So it doesn't look as great as Bitcoin, but it was better before I added a little bit to position. I think I added like $15 to Ethereum. I think I'm going to keep going into Ethereum until I have one. Um, but still, Ethereum was at 90% on my last video. 
and now it's at 125 percent almost 26 percent so it has increased like 36 percent and bitcoin has increased 130 percent but again my ethereum would look different if i didn't add to my position so cryptocurrencies have been running it up since my last game winning portfolio dividends cryptocurrencies airlines they've been running it up the next generation tech for some reason since the last video they have all been going down but that just means it's a great time to get in whenever the market is doing this don't get worried too much again i already did talked about this in my, my other video what to do when the stock market crash last thing i want to show you guys is my dividend income all right guys this is dividend watch i showed you guys about dividend watch if you haven't checked Dividend Watch out, please go check out my video on Dividend Watch. Dividend Watch is you can load it in your portfolio. I've loaded it in my portfolio and then you can calculate where you're going to be when it pertains to your dividend income. So it's saying right now before taxes this year, from what I have, I'm currently holding, I should, re I should receive 160 five dollars in dividends this year okay and right now it's set to three years so in three years i would receive i would receive 541 dollars from dividends over here i plugged in my annual growth how much i put in a month how much i put in a month and this in three years i would get this and just remember that's that's a little amount you guys might be like whoa it's a little amount but remember, you receive dividends just for holding your position, holding your stock. So just holding your position, you will receive this. So it's just a kickback for holding your positions. You still would have the total value right here of your position. So that's why I like dividends. And this isn't my whole portfolio because I can't load up my cryptos and certain growth stocks up here because they're too new. And then I'll also like to show you guys on my 10 year mark what I would be receiving in dividends if I keep up how I'm doing it. So if I keep, keep this up in 10 years, I would be receiving $2,222 just a year just for holding my position. All right, so I want to show you guys that, and I want this number to be a lot higher. I want to be this number to be a lot higher. So I'm going to be showing you guys this in my portfolio too. I'm going to be making this number go higher each video too because I want to be really bullish on dividends also. So yeah, guys, that was my game winning portfolio. I just want to keep you guys updated and show you guys that it's not hard to invest. And I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm not a financial advisor. If you feel like you need one, please seek out one. I just like to show you guys what I'm doing so you can see that it's not hard to invest. I do want to give a shout out to Mr. Jay Smedley. He is winning in the Investopedia Stock Challenge. Um, if you guys don't know about that, please check out the Investopedia Challenge. Again, it's on Investopedia. You guys that are familiar with it, Please just search next generation of investors and use the password GWB2021. And you will be given access to that game. And we're running that game all year and we're going to see who comes out on top. Please come join us. We'll be glad to have you. If you like any of the content in this video, please hit that like button. Again, it really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel and come back and see me. I appreciate you guys checking me out and showing me your support. Come back and see me. I got plenty more to talk about. Thanks.